All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing some spring errands and I am finally feeling back to normal. I'm going to try and catch you guys up um, and put it in a little bit of like a walnut shell here. Like what has been going on in my life? Why have I been missing from YouTube and saying I'm coming back and then I'm not and then I'm coming back. What is going on? Let me fill you in. Okay, so this is where I've been guys. I had a very bad reaction to I wouldn't say very bad. I'm not going to say very bad. I had a reaction to my, um, I'm going to call it the V against the C, okay? Because I don't want there to be any weird um, YouTube stuff, um, Instagram, really. It just, everything is very, like, filtered. And I'm not bringing this up to start a debate to start a debate. I do not regret getting it. Absolutely not. I do not. Um, so we're just going to leave it at that. So... I did have a not so fun reaction and I've been sick for about the past week and a half since getting it. The first three days were fine and it wasn't after the third day that I started to have this reaction and basically it was just a migraine that would not go away. My energy was just not there. Um, I did actually have to go in and t test to see if I had, if I actually had the C, okay, word, C, the, I had the C word, I did not, um, it was negative, and so this is truly, honestly, all just a ripple effect from receiving my V. That sounds so bad, but, you know, the, the thing, okay, in my arm. Anyways, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to share my real and raw experience and explain to you guys where I've been for the past little bit, for the past week and a half. Mike has completely had to take over the reins for the kids. I wake up every day and I and just by noon, I'm so exhausted, I cannot do anything. So I took a pregnancy test, um, I took a rapid test for the, you know what, and I took an like a the longer one, everything came back normal. So. Anywho, today is the first day that I'm finally feeling back to normal and I just wanted to share where I've been and what my experience was and I'm grateful that I'm feeling better. So anyway, today, let, let's get all the things done. I started out my day by going through the M&M Rustic schedule uh, because we're clearly behind because of vacation. We took off a week and a half for vacation. And then now with me being so sick the past week, Mike has had to help me out in the house with the kids. So he is falling a little bit behind with the M&M Rustic order. So if any of you are our customers from M&M Rustics, know that, just know that we are getting to you as soon as possible and that my health has just not been the super greatest for the past week and a half, but we are getting better. If we are just we're like a two-person ma pa shop show so we are doing our very best to get to everybody on time so if any of you out there are a customer of ours just know that we love you we appreciate you thank you so much for supporting our small family business and we are trying our very hardest to get to everybody in a timely manner we have about a hundred orders left and then we are taking a little bit of a break um, so that we can finish our yard work so Anyways, let's hop on into what exactly I am doing with the front porch and a lot of these things. So since Mike is like in the shop all the time, you guys, I have to try and like DIY these things myself. So, okay, let me, let me hop in the back. Let me show you what I got to start some of the renovations like on, like not renovations because it's a new house, but like, like a facelift. Okay. Let's, let me, I'm, I'm, let's go see. Okay, so first things first, my um, my front door is completely like scratched up. Um, we painted it last year and we were told that we wouldn't need, need any kind of like polyurethane or anything like that. We definitely did. The dogs scratched it all up and now that we're fencing in the backyard, it's going to be much easier um, for us to keep the dogs like away from the front door so that they don't scratch it. But my concern is still like, like keys scratching on the front door, etc. Um, so I did get the paint to um, redo the front door, um, and that is this stuff. If you guys are wondering, it's the fast dry exterior. It's in satin, um, and then I did pick up this spar um, urethane, and it's exterior use. Um, 
in clear satin and it's sunlight rain and moisture and temperature change resistant so i'm going to repaint that front door so it's not so scratched up and disgusting and then i did get a gooseneck light to replace the front porch if i like it i'm going to replace all of them um and then i just got like a little tray um i did pick up a new wand for our pressure washer because i'm going to pressure wash the front porch um because there's like stains and grease from the grill and everything all over it um and then i just got like a couple of foam brushes and rollers if you guys are wondering for the front door i use an extremely smooth finish um lint free foam roller this is like a really dense foam roller because it doesn't show any like texture it just leaves behind like a really smooth finish um in like in comparison to like the normal like foam or like the you know rollers you use on your walls um since i'm painting on such a flat surface my aluminum front door i have to have something like this so that there's not a whole ton of texture if that makes sense um and then i just picked up a couple more bags of the mulch that we use for outside like in the front yard um there's a couple areas that are just like coming up and it looks super junky. So I just need to fix that up really quick. And then um, we are getting curbing put in this spring as well, which is like the concrete edging that goes around. Um, but we have to wait to get our fence in first, which is a whole nother story. I'm gonna fill you guys in on that as well. All right, so like I said, there really honestly, there's so much that I have to get done in the next few days. I I have a lot of things I need to film. Uh, we have a lot of orders we need, get, we need to get done. So our plate is a little bit full, but let me catch you up really fast before I leave for Lowe's because I need to pick up some planters for the front porch. Um, the fence situation. So we are putting up a fence. It's just a white vinyl fence. It's, it's very cute. Um, I love it because it kind of matches our house, like in the, um, like the J channel and like the soffit and stuff is white on our house. So we're doing the white vinyl fence, um, to kind of match that just to accent it. And then our back deck will be kind of the same colors as the front porch, um, where we have that like cedar, it's like a, a light cedar color. Um, I think it's called Puritan pine is what we used. And we're going to do that on the back deck and then black spindles. So everything's just going to come together really nicely. But when we, okay, so there were two things that happened. Um, last fall, one of our neighbors put up a fence and we, we were informed that he was going to go to the property line, which we were fine with because he said he, uh, we were going to be able to tie in. So with that being said, we went out and bought and we're tying into our neighbor on the other side as well which like not fully tying in. Um, we have like a post that will go up against um, like their post. So it's not, we're not completely like attaching to their fence. Anyway, um, so we bought all the panels that we needed. We actually had to drive all over the place to find fence panels. It was miserable. I kind of talked about, about it over on my Instagram stories about like what happened. Hang on one second, Mike is calling me. Okay. So I just got home and I have my camera on me instead of my iPhone. So that's why the quality is a little bit different, but I realized I didn't finish the rest of that story after Mike called me. So long story short, um, our neighbor went like five inches into his property. Um, and we didn't find that out until like a week before we were going to install the fence. Um, so this is last weekend, Easter weekend. Um, so that's fine but uh the panels is where we were having problems so since he went five inches in he was talking about how the fence company was talking or the fence company said they the footings for the fence posts um could come to the property line but the fence itself could not so the footings are you know at the property line because they come out quite a ways from the fence post itself um, so anyways, we're going to go five inches in as well, but the problem we were having is all of our fence panels for like the fence that we got are completely sold out until November, like back ordered until November. So we have been kind of scrambling. Um, we canceled our install for the fence for this next weekend. Um, we're going to wait till May which is not a big deal, but, um, we didn't, 
we don't want to put anything up against like his side of the property and we wanted to try and block it off some way somehow we're like how do we do this like without having the fence panels here it's going to be a 10 inch gap like the dogs and the kids can totally like squeeze through a 10 inch gap what is on my face um anyway yeah so we had to brainstorm a little bit and i finally i just found um it's like a no dig fence um you can find them at lowe's home depot um that's where i was seeing them at um but i found it found some on the facebook marketplace um actually from one of our customers um she's selling the perfect amount for like 200 feet the exact amount that we need for 200 feet for $200 the exact amount we need 72 feet for like $200 so it's this really nice like black iron like no dig fence um, and it's four feet high and like about four feet high and we will run that along the border of like the um, west end of our property where we don't have panels for so we can install the fence everywhere else and then like our normal fence, the white PVC, nice like vinyl fence or whatever that we got. And then we will do um, the black fencing, like the metal fencing um, on the side where we can't get panels so that the dogs are in. We're not like messing with our neighbor's property um, and being respectful because we do, we will be having like a lot of um, activities in the backyard this summer and things like that. So anyway, I just wanted to finish that story um and now i'm going to hop into the grocery haul part of this video um, which is from sam's club and i'll show you what a standard grocery haul looks like in our house um, and kind of talk about how i get things for the family but in like normal meals but also how i try and stay keto since i am hopping back into keto now after taking like three weeks off um, from vacation and then not feeling well i have lost the five pounds that I gained when I was on vacation. Um, my weight bounces up and down all the time. I'm just one of those people where like, I get my period and I gain 10 pounds in water weight. I just, I go up and down very easy. So anyway, let me show you what I got in my grocery haul this time. Okay, so I actually had to mute out the sound in here because the background noise was so bad. The kids were freaking out. But here is my Sam's Club big grocery haul that I actually got a couple of weeks ago. And I'm just getting around to editing that footage now that I am feeling better. Um, I picked up cheese sticks for the kids, butter. I got a stir fry vegetable blend just for something different. Got some rice crispy treats i always have those on hand same with the tortilla chips i got some eggs because we hadn't picked up any eggs from our local farmer guy lately and then i had a huge meat run um, i got ribeyes and new york strips and hamburger um, and then for fruit i got some blueberries and strawberries picked up some shredded cheese and i'll just usually like freeze one of the bags these are my go-to chocolate keto snacks They're just like a um, dark chocolate type of keto snack um, got some chicken breasts got some milk for cereal picked up this keto snack mix um, I am it was wasn't like a big big fan of it um, but Mike really loves it um, shelled pistachios uh, because like Riker loves them and I love them as well um, avocados tomatoes bananas wings um, I always get um, this like smoked salmon but I'm actually ever since purchasing this salmon i watched sea spiracy and i've now decided i'm going to cut down on my fish um, and then i got mike a pack of socks because he is running low on socks i pick up this snack mix um, every time i go again i'm trying to make some more healthier decisions so i will be changing those snacks too um, i pick up a huge thing of almond milk i have um, these little dukes things uh, they're like little snack sticks and they're super good um, and then the cauliflower crust pizza is one of my 
favorite higher carb meals. Um, just because it says cauliflower crust doesn't mean that it's going to be um, low in carbs, but it is gluten-free, which is why we get it so that on the weekends, it's just a quick and easy meal. I've got a four pack of bacon. I got some bell peppers Found this keto nut granola. So good with fresh blueberries in there. It also has dried blueberries. Picked up these um, breakfast bowls. These are our favorite. They are not low carb, but they're so good. The kids have them every morning and they split one. One. Picked up some Habarti, got some keto ice cream bars. These are the best. Again, these are from Costco. Um, picked up the little cuties because the kids go through them so fast. Some hot dogs for grilling season coming up. I got some pickles because that is like one of our go-to snacks in the house. Um, also got asparagus and then keto buns and keto bread. So, so good. Highly, highly recommend the keto buns and the keto bread. We only have them every once in a while because they're not gluten-free, but it just, it feels so good to have an actual burger or a sandwich and have it be like keto friendly so I'm not breaking out of ketosis um, and then I also picked up some more low carb tortillas which you can kind of see peeking underneath the keto buns and bread. Um, also grabbed these paleo um, cracked black pepper and organic basil chicken sausages. These are great. I like to put them over salads. Um, I like to have them on their own, throw them into a tortilla taco-ish type of soup. Um, picked up the... Picked up the kids some chicken nuggets and some veggie straws. Um, always grab a rotisserie chicken every time I go to Costco. Um, now with, with the veggie straws, I like to separate them out into the baggies. Um, and then I also picked up some spring mix. I go through one of these once every about week and a half, two weeks. Um, and I did just refill on some today again. And I have a little mini grocery haul coming for you guys on Monday as well to show you what I refilled on. Don't mind my dirty dishes. Um, and then I also picked up these individual skinny pop bags for the snack drawer and sun chips, which have already been broken into. <laughs> Riker wants some snacks. He's so cute. Oh yes, and then I got paper towels as well. I always get paper towels every single time I go to Sam's Club or Costco. What I'm doing here is I'm just refilling the snack drawer. Um, my parents were in town with the kids while we were in Mexico, so they actually refilled the snack drawer with some of their favorite things while we were gone, um, which is why the snack drawer is filled with a little bit different things, like, like Pringles and Mrs. Fields cookies, like just a little bit different than what we usually fill it with. So they were so sweet and they refilled it for the kids while they were watching them while we were gone. Um, but anyways, that is what I'm doing here is I'm just refilling the snack drawer with the stuff from Costco. Um, I did just run to Sam's Club today and grabbed like a little bit healthier stuff. And Mike and I decided we were gonna cut down on the Rice Krispies and the cookies that we've been putting into the kids' snack drawer. So we got like fruit leathers, um, we got some of those bare apple chips and unfortunately those ones had to ship because they were out of stock in my local Sam's Club. So that's what I'm doing here anyways. I'm just refilling everything. We always like to keep the snack drawer full. Um, it has been honestly like the biggest life hack for me and being able to just like grab things when I'm running out the door to run errands so that they have snacks while in the car or if I'm running a delivery for M&M Rustics, it's so convenient to have these snacks ready to go if we're like on the run. And also we have, you know, people in and out of the house, like family members or if Kai is playing with the neighbors and having snacks for the kids readily available has been so nice. Okay, so sneak peek of the front porch. I'm going to be posting this tomorrow on my at-home channel. So the same time this video goes up, you guys will be seeing the at-home with Morgan video where I'm going to be doing a spring little bit of like a decorate, undecorate with me. Um, and I will show you what the whole setup looks like. But I went to Walmart and I found exactly what I was looking for. Um, I found these and then the basket here in the back. Um, those are what I found at Walmart. I ended up getting a really good deal on these. I got the baskets for like $25 each. And I also got like these wood things, which I'm actually going to be um, putting poly on so that they are outdoor resistant and then putting some rocks in the bottom so that they stay put. Um, I got one of them for like, I think they were like $15 each and then one of them was kind of broken in the back and it was the last one. So I told them I would take it, but asked if I could get a discount on it because it was damaged. So I got like half off 
on one of them. So I spent like $80 total for like all of the baskets and everything, which I thought was a good deal. Um, and these um, baskets right here that I got from Walmart, these are the Better Homes and Gardens. Um, these I got um, that they're like outdoor resistant. So I'm very happy with my um, finds today and I'm switched over to the vlog camera now because I forgot to bring that with me this morning. Oh my goodness, my child. So I just put Riker down for a nap. It's like one and I just heard a big like boom upstairs. So I'm gonna go and check out and see what the heck he is doing. <laughs> You're a stinky boy. What'd you do? Hmm? Riker, what'd you do? Oh, you're a stinker. Okay, you need to take a nap. Is your blankie? Can you lay down? Oh, you need your slippers on. You are. Jeez. You are something else. I'll tell you what. Stinky boy. Okay, time to go lay down, okay? <laughs> All right, good night. Okay, yeah, good night. Oh. Yeah, crazy boy. Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> so nap time, like I said, has been a struggle lately. Um, he did not nap in the car and we got home around 12.30 laid him down round one and he's just been like fighting his nap ever since um but in my at home with morgan video that's live today um you'll also get a little bit of a sneak peek at the bedroom we're slowly but surely um fixing up a few things in the house or just kind of like changing out the decor um i got a new mirror for the bedroom back couple months ago from Target and um, I put that up in the room um, I put that up in the room and it's much more like boho than everything else that's in here um, I do have this like macrame thing above the bed right now which is gonna go um, I want to do a vinyl record wall up here um, which is gonna be expensive so I'm going to slowly but surely start collecting um, some vinyl records throughout the summer and then hopefully I'll have enough by the end of the summer for me to put up the vinyl record wall and then um, there is a new bed that I have eyes on right now and it's not going to be back in stock until like May 8th we've had this bed for like six years ish we ended up getting it after we got married and we got married almost six years ago so um so we we're just waiting for that new bed to come back in stock yeah buddy yeah Oh, is that you got a bunny? Yeah, I should probably go downstairs so I'm not distracting him anymore. Um, and then this little guy over here, it doesn't like fill out the wall very well. Yeah, buddy. You got bunny. Um, I've got this thing behind me. It doesn't fill out the wall very well, um, but I love it so much. I just need to decide where I'm going to put that. Um, and I just hung it up over there for now um, so that it wasn't like sitting on the floor and I had like a different, um, I had like a sign up over there before. So anyway, um, yeah, so I got a few new pieces from Target um, that I will show you guys as well. Um, our lamps broke. So these lamps I got from Target are exactly what I was looking for as far as colors, but they're a lot shorter than I wanted to go. Um, but they were affordable. They were like $20 each and they make it look so cozy in here. Mike's lamp um, like broke a few months ago. So we've been needing new lamps. I ended up getting, so this is the lamp. Um, and then I got a couple of frames. Um, here's one. This was um, Mike's doing. He like tossed this cute little, um, like it was like from a um, instant film camera. Um, he tossed this picture of us in there from my sister's high school graduation, which was like six years ago, five years ago. Maybe it was four years ago. I don't know, something like that. But this is an older picture, but he loves it. <laughs> so he put that in this little frame. And then over on my side, I have a similar setup. I will leave the link to my At Home with Morgan channel up here. Um, 
so you guys can check out the video for like everything that we did in here. You can kind of see a sneak peek of the new bedspread. Um, was just kind of starting to prep for when we do get the new bed. Um, I wanted to change the colors up in here. Um, and the color, so right now like the bed is like this really like deep dark walnut-y kind of a little bit reddish toned color um but it is completely destroyed like on the end from the dogs um jumping in and out of bed because the dogs sleep with us every night um anyway but it's beautiful it's just like not our style anymore if it was a lighter color um i would love it but it's just it's so dark and yeah i'm just looking for a little bit different of a style so anyway i think for height because these lamps are so short i think for light for like height i am going to do i can't decide i think i'm gonna do like macrame hanger plant things or um possibly some like bigger pictures there is this really cute joshua tree um like picture at target yesterday that i saw but there was only one of them and i would need two um one for either side of the bed and i think with all of like the square shapes going above the bed with all the vinyl records it might look kind of funky so hoping to find something like a big macrame like plant holder that's like bigger chunkier comes down from the ceiling and kind of gives this area a little bit more height um because yeah the lamps are pretty short i do want to wait until we get the new bed in though because i think the new bed is going to be a little bit shorter than what we currently have um so i just i need to wait for that to come in but anyways all right i hope you enjoyed this like get it all done with me and enjoyed the shopping haul um in regards to the outdoor stuff and the groceries i had to run all the errands now that i am feeling better I've just been, my health, my headache, this this migraine, whatever thing that's going on has been totally draining and I'm glad that it is finally coming to an end because I have so many things that I need to get done and I definitely need to work on filing our taxes <laughs> this week. Um, we always wait till the last minute. Anybody else do that? Wait till the last minute, leave in the comments below. But anyway, okay. I hope you guys have had a fabulous week and I will see you on Monday as we get back into our normal schedule. Finally, I've been promising that for the past few weeks now that we'd be getting into like a normal YouTube schedule again. But with my health and coming back from vacation, it's just been really difficult. So anyways, I will see you guys on Monday for a day in the life vlog and I will give you some more decor updates and bring you along on all the behind the scenes stuff for my at home with morgan videos because there's going to be a lot of like spring makeovers and things like that coming very soon including a new fence and a new deck and all the things we also have a pool going up so i'm just i'm so ready for summer and i'm ready to enjoy our backyard and all the things so anyways guys i will see you on monday for another day in the life okay bye guys